Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So SCS has released the, uh, the 100th anniversary edition of the T680, the next generation T680. Now the regular edition of the truck has not come out yet. They, are, they did say there's going to be more options coming for the truck. Time to hit As the of right now, all we have is the 100th anniversary edition. We still have the old T680 in the game too. We're going to go ahead and uh, check the truck out and do a run with it today. Tell me what you think about the, about the... I love the look of the truck. This truck looks good. Look at this thing. Love the grill. Now this is pretty much original. Um, only thing I did change was the color of the truck. I didn't add no extras to it other than just uh, change the color. I didn't want the color that it come with. I like the blue with the black rims. Um, no hood mirrors because the hood mirrors are, are black. They don't have right now any, any painted hood mirrors. If they had painted, I probably would have went with paint or chrome. Because you can't change the mirrors on the truck right now. But this is the first truck in the game that has the camera mirror. So as you see right here on the side, this comes with the truck. Now this is the 100th anniversary edition of the T680, the Kenworth. Uh, the regular edition has not come out. Uh, they did say they are working on a lot more options for the truck. We'll probably get like a cab option. Like we did before for the W900, they'll probably do like a cab accessory pack, and um, like an accessory pack that brings uh, more options for the truck. So, which would be awesome to see. We got a load of pallets. We just make a quick run here for the truck. So as far and I'm gonna show you the options that come with it, the engines and stuff like that. Um, engines right now only have like some pack our engines. The highest is like maybe 510 horsepower, uh, but the truck just released this morning. Uh, they were waiting for Steam to make the uh, release of approval, so it did release this morning for make truck simulator. Uh, so give the modders a little bit of time, and we'll, uh, you know we'll get more engines and stuff like that. We'll come with it. But I like the truck. I'm really liking what I'm liking it. Uh, you know the the, the T680 needed some love. I mean, it really did for the game because it, that one and the 579 and the 389, they, they all need love. Just like what they did with the, uh, the, the Volvo. So, welcome addition to the game, I think. Let's see. Um, this truck, it does not have a jake brake. I'm guessing because of the engine. And you see? It has a handle, but if it does, it's very quiet. But, you know, we get some modded engines in here for the game. The Packer engine don't sound bad, though. I'd say it's not a bad sound truck. I have it turned down a little bit right now. I have the sound down right now a little bit. I didn't want it to be too loud. But I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it. I think this is something we can drive for a little while. Now I'm on my third profile. This is my um, profile that I that I use when I go on um, Truckers MP. I mean, not Truckers MP. I'm sorry, Convoy. I use this profile. Uh, less mods on this profile than any of my other profiles. So I kind of cut this, leave this profile down because you can only have a hundred mods anything over a hundred you can't get on convoy so I use this profile for that and I, I decided this would be the better profile to do this video with so we got 150 miles to go I like the truck though. Um, they did. They did say that you know they are working on more options for the truck. Um, I'm going to show you all the options at the end of the run, so you can kind of make a decision. On, but I, I can say that this is basically what it was when it when I got it. Get ready to turn I, I changed was the color.
And hopefully we'll see the, the Peterbilt next year, the uh, 579. I'd love to see that one come. I do know that they're, they are still working on, they're going to be working on um, a, a W990. That's something that's still coming. Front handle's good too. I mean, it's just, look at that. It's just, it's like you can just hold it in a road like this. Just, like it has good handling. It's been over here at 70. Let's see if we can get it up 70. So I already got a thumbnail. We'll have to get a thumbnail. I got a thumbnail already. But we may go ahead and get another one. Let's go ahead and get another one while we got loaded. We'll do that. We'll go ahead and bring it up a little bit. A little bit too close, I think. That's, that's better. Go ahead and get us a thumbnail there. See if we can get it up 75 here. Uh, one thing I can notice is that the uh, GPS is a little bit smaller than what it is on the uh, older T680, but that's okay. Love the interior. They've done an excellent job. Uh, like I said now, there's not really too many engine uh, packs updated yet for this, but give it a couple of days. They always do update them pretty quickly for the, when the SCS releases the nut truck. So, you know, give them a couple of days and we'll, we'll have some updated engine packs and stuff like that for the truck. let me know what you think about the truck you know in the comments of the on the video let me know um, I like the truck I think I think it looks really good I think SES done a pretty good job you know with it Now, there was one thing that I did see, I did watch the stream uh, about the truck. This truck does have blind spot uh, detection. Um, it has, like I said, it has the mirror cameras there, and it has the regular cameras on the side. I mean, uh, sorry, um, the regular mirrors on the side, too. Got a little bit of um, the fuse there. I'll show you everything about, you know, about it once we get our drop. we we'll drop trail, I'll show you the sleeping area and we're going to go into the garage here and I'm going to show you all the options for it and everything. That's what we have right now. More to come though. They did say more options will be coming for it. speed up here.
Truck's pretty quick for this Packard engine. I think this Packard's got a 510 horsepower. And this is default sounds. Uh, like I said, um, I'm going to look at the workshop today and see, uh, check come some of the web um, mod sites, see if maybe there's an um, engine pack that's been updated for it. I'm going to be doing a stream with it, so you know, I, I want to see if there's maybe a different engine pack has come out for it. Um, but the sounds are really not bad. I mean, they're not bad compared to what they used to be. But, you know, if there's no engine packs out, you know, give it a couple of days. Like I said, it just come out today. Um, so give them a couple of days, you know. It may be even, it may be even be after Christmas because we're so close to the Christmas holidays. Um, you know, give, but give them a little bit of time. And there'll be some engine packs. Give SCS a little bit of time to get a few more options, to, you know, added to it to make it where it's not a uh, 100 anniversary edition of the truck. Right now, there's not one of those out there. Um... That's what this is considered to be. Hey guys, we're gonna take a trip one day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, a vehicle mod. And then exit right. We're gonna take a trip up to. Um, we're gonna find the Packard Technical Center that's the, that was added in the game. We have not been there yet. We're gonna take a trip up. I want to do a video in one day, and we're gonna I'm gonna get a vehicle mod. Want to see if we can go find him? Turn left. Alright. Roll the window down. Over this lane, we got to turn. Listen to that pack our engine. Yeah, this is a game changer right here. A big game changer for this game. Trucks like this, this coming, that uh, they're working on. Yeah, it, it, this is uh, gonna make a big difference. We keep, we keep getting trucks like this. You, I want, I want to use any kind of mods. Right. So I could drive this any day over a mod. Got a load of pallets here.
We're still gonna do another stream that sometime uh, this um, this week doing the special transports up in uh, Oklahoma. Pilot's going. Oh, they're going to Walmart. Uh, okay, I thought they was going here. You can tell it's been a day. We went to the wrong location. At least you get to look at the truck. I don't know why I was thinking they went there. Alright, so they go, it's gonna go on the back like it normally does. Look at that. That is a good looking truck. I love that blue. That blue just pops for that truck. Alright, let's see. Right there. Alright, we're gonna turn around. See if I can pull it in here. Um, they did say about the front of this truck. Uh, they had a market manager from Kenworth on the stream. And they talked about the front of the truck, the grill, the bumper area and all. And the truck was uh, based off of making a, a smile. It would be a Kenworth smile. this way I can't hardly see that with it with daylight well it's starting to turn to tight now
We'll go back in the cab in just a minute here. We're not quite done yet. Back to cab. All right, we drove an exit. We drove 182 miles. Took us four hours and 55 minutes to get here. You see, 24.9 gallons of fuel. So we're gonna go ahead, and I'm for right now. We're gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and open all of this up. I haven't really been on this profile much, so what we'll do there. We're gonna go to the dealership. I'm gonna show you the options for the truck now. Like I said, keep in mind there is, there is only one uh, uh, part of the truck right now that is the 100th anniversary edition. What? Okay, it's not letting me do that. We'll just go there then and show it to you. We're not going to trade it in. We're gonna, I'm just going to show you the options. All right, so this is the 100th anniversary edition of the W of I'm W900, the T680. This is what it looks like in the at this at the dealership. I love the truck. The gray looks good. I like the blue better. All right, so as far as your cab option, one 76 inch sleeper. You have one chassis, a long 654. Engines right now, you have the Packard engine, 430, 455, 485, and 510. That's one we were running. You have one transmission, a 12 speed Packard. All right, interior, one. This is the 100th anniversary edition interior. You see the look at the truck here. I love that they got the little tag right there, the 100th anniversary edition tag. Got a table. They said this table right here slides slides in where it's not in your way. You have your mirrors here. Um, here is like a, for a CB right there. Paint options. Now this truck did not come with the uh, regular paint options like what we get for all of our other trucks that come by the DLC. It does not have that. So you have blue, which is what the color I'm using. You have green. Uh, the green I don't like too much. It don't look good. Orange is okay. Red looks good. You have your custom color. Hey, the white don't even look bad. Really. This is like metallic colors here. That's like a black. It looks like a cherry black, what it looks like. Gold. That's the silver. That's another red. Another looking red. That's another black. Orange brown. Racing. Now that green don't look bad on the truck. Actually, that don't look bad at all. You have a blue. That's a, that's a steel blue. This is a sea blue. I don't know. I mean, I actually... I like the other blue better, the one that I have. Then you have your metallic colors that you could do if you want to change it and do a metallic color. Like you go over here to your blue. Do that. Yeah. All that works. Um, options for the truck. That's quite a few. They said there's more going to be coming. So 
you have two bumpers. You have a painted fog light bumper and an afro painted fog light bumper. This is this one right here. I don't really see a difference in it. It doesn't like me. It changes anything. Really? This is a chrome right here. The piece is already on there. Oversized load banner. If you want to do an oversized load, you can put that on the truck. Alright, grill. One grill. You have uh, hood mirrors, but like I said, they're black. And to me, it doesn't look good when the, when the regular mirrors are painted. So to me, it doesn't look good. Uh, you have one short hood. So apparently, maybe we're eventually going to get a different hood type for the truck. What it looks like. I'm not sure about that. Um, cab lights is on one. Here you have the beacon lights. You want to put beacons on it. I like the the beacons a little bit different here. Look, a little bit small beacon lights. All right, this is uh for your standard um cab here. All right, so here, all the this is like a light right here. Um, you also have your afro that you can throw on there, which it already has it on there. Um, steps, all this is good. You can remove that and make it standard. Tires, I have the, uh, now it, it does work for the tire mod. The realistic tires, all that works. You have two aluminum tanks, 260-gallon tanks. Um, a bottom piece. That's your standard, and then you have a standard, which is this right here, and then you have the airline, like that right there. Now, I don't like this option here with the middle piece between the tires. I don't like those. I never have liked that on a truck. It, to me, it doesn't look right. But, right now, you cannot remove that. So, you know, we're, we'll have to have it on there. <clears throat> so, that's everything that, uh, all the outside options for the truck. Inside options you see is the you, you, your mirror. I'm sorry, mirror. Your, your steering. I can't talk. Your steering wheel pack does work. Uh, if you want to put uh, your cabin option pack works. You can put a drink, whatever there. All this works. Pull it. You can add options by here, but honestly, I wouldn't put this on top of that. You could. I guess if you wanted to, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't cover up the 100th anniversary edition either. Maybe that or something like that, but you know, definitely not an American flag. And that's pretty much it as far as right now all the options for the truck. Alright guys, so that's going to be up today video. I want to get in here and I'll show, I'll show you that SGS did release the 100th anniversary edition of the next generation T680. Um, there is more going to be coming with the truck. They did say that. They got more. They, uh, it's going to be released. Um, accessory pack. And I'm hoping they do a regular edition of the T680. That's what I'm hoping to see. And um, thank you for watching. Thank you for... Um, Thank you for watching, thank you for um, subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.